Hey guys, so it is time for another pattern review. This dress is going to be made for my one day assembly next weekend. I should have already made this dress a long time ago since I've had the fabric for at least a month. Um, I've had the pattern that I wanted in my wish list online for a month and all of my little embellishments have been in for a few weeks too um sometimes the procrastination is just ridiculous <laughs> anyway the inspiration for the dress that i'm going to be making for next weekend is actually julia roberts there is a ad for a perfume and i think it's say la belle it may be la vie a bell yeah lavia bell it's a it's a commercial and she's in it she's actually like in two or three commercials for that perfume um, and i like all the dresses because if you've been following me for a while you know i really really like to wear the color white and i have more white dresses than any other color although my orange and blue dresses have started kind of like taking over so I'm getting back to making white dresses again because white looks good on brown skin in the summertime. So I'm going to show you the picture of Julia Roberts. It is so beautiful. I love it. Oh my goodness. Like every time I see the commercial, I'm just like, oh my gosh, she looks so beautiful. And then I actually like had to go find a YouTube video of her in the commercial and watch it a couple times because white dresses are just everything. So I could never find a dress that was like less pieces. A lot of times it would have the bodice would be separate from the skirt. And then if it wasn't, a lot of them had, um, it's a wrap style dress. A lot of them had a, a belt that you could see from the outside and I don't want to have a belt because Julia Roberts dress does not have a belt. It's actually by a French designer named Alexander Vauthier, and his designs are super bad. Oh my goodness. I would love to have some of his stuff. So after procrastinating and not finding the perfect pattern for this dress, I finally was like, okay, you need to pick something and get started because time is getting away from us. So then I decided I was going to do a different dress. Another pattern by Simplicity that I'd had for a while and I've been wanting to do it but didn't have enough fabric because it requires like seven yards worth of fabric in order to do this Simplicity dress. So then I went out and bought that fabric, washed it, and then I was like, no, I still want to do that Julia Roberts dress. <laughs> so I like had to like scour through eBay and Etsy one last time so I could find the perfect wrap dress in order to do this uh, completely plagiaristic Alexander Vauthier dress. So what I found was a Butterick 4596 pattern. Mm -hmm. A pattern that I've had on my eBay list for months. The variation that I'm going to be doing is most close to this one here. Okay, so I'm going to be doing the uh, plain bodice style, not this ruched style because y'all have seen me. I don't have a waist, a defined waist. I'm like straight up and down and I'm kind of getting a little bowed in the, the stomach area because your girl needs to lose some weight because she ain't been exercising. That's another conversation for another day. I don't want to go there today, guys. This is about sewing. <laughs> I'm going to go with the plain um, bodice and for the actual skirt I'm not going straight because Julia Roberts dress is not straight I actually think it's more like this but both panels are angled so that you can see her feet I am undecided at if I'm going to do one straight panel and one angled one like this or if I'm going to do two angled but on Julia Roberts dress she actually has a small train on the back of her dress and I really really want to do that 
it's just that at the assembly, it might be a bit much to have a train. <laughs> and I want people thinking I'm trying to be a bride because I'm not. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going for long sleeves like the Alexander Vauthier dress. Uh, it is going to have a mock wrap top. It does not actually wrap because it has a zipper in the back. And we're going to go with an angled front. Whether we're going to do one or two panels, we shall see. I'm probably going to go with two because... I want it to look as much like Julie Roberts dress as possible. Now with Julia's dress, you could actually see her thigh when she was walking. It's not going down like that next weekend. Okay. That's not what this is about. And I might do it longer in the back with like a little slight train because y'all know me being short, I like them long and flowy. So, uh, I also may try to combine the bodice and skirt pieces because I want it to be as streamlined as possible. However, because the dress is going to be all white, you may not even really see the seams. So I'm thinking that's not going to be that big of a problem. And it says right here that it's an easy pattern. I'm always trying to make something more difficult than it is. Always. I like literally today is the only day that I had to do this. I could also like hook it up last minute on Monday, but I'm really trying to get it done today. I don't know that that's going to happen because the embellishments are going to take a little while to do because everything has to be hand sewn on and y'all know I don't like hand work. I don't like it, but like I said, I'm always trying to make something more difficult. So we're going to do this mock dress, mock wrap dress. And just like Julia had on her dress, um, she had on one side embellishments coming down into the wrap and then on the cuffs as well. So on eBay, I ordered some rhinestones and pearls. They're all from the great country of China. <laughs> so I have got some uh, sew-on rhinestones in different sizes I didn't realize these were going to be gold otherwise I would not have bought this particular one because everything here is silver unfortunately and then uh oh I've got some oval shaped ones I don't know if this is going to let me let you guys see I've got some oval shaped rhinestones and then I've got two different size pearls and these are actually not, they don't have to be sewn on. I can literally just, you take the, the silver piece and you pop it through the bottom of the, there you go, that's better. Take this silver piece and you just pop it through the bottom of the, uh, the pearl. So, the fabric that I chose is actually the white crepe from the Cape May collection at Joann's. It came out for this spring. So this has a, this has amazing <laughs> drape in it. It is like one of the best crepes I've ever seen Joann fabric sell. It is one of the best and it is white, white. So I bought the entire bolt. I'm not going to need the entire bolt for this dress, but I bought the entire bolt because I feel like I'm going to need it. And if I can get my hands on some other bolts from Joann's, I'm going to buy up every single bolt of this white crepe in the entire <laughs> uh, Miami Valley area because this stuff is amazing. It has great drape weight to it. Oh, it's it's going to be so nice. So I need to go ahead and get started. I need to actually cut out the pattern pieces. I will be making this in a size 16. That is a bust 38, waist 30. So, instead of me continuing to sit here and talk to you, because it's been 10 minutes, and I don't know why it's taking me 10 minutes to talk about this to you, I'm going to go ahead and get everything cut out, and I'm going to start sewing. All right? I will see you guys once I'm wearing the dress next week.
So here is the finished project almost one entire month later. <laughs> um, this dress was wonderful to wear. Um, I don't remember many details about me making it because again, I didn't make it a month ago. <laughs> Um, there were a couple things on here that I did change that I was going to do that I didn't do. Um, all of these beads were supposed to be hand sewn on or attached by a rivet machine. And I ended up using a fabric glue to glue every last single one of these jewels and beads on. Um, I simply just didn't have enough time to hand sew them. And the fabric glue was so much more fast. It, it made things so much easier. Also, um, I did not initially intend on putting shoulder pads in here because y'all know I'm built like a linebacker already, but I did put shoulder pads in here, some very, very um, lightweight shoulder pads just to give the shoulder area structure because the weight of this, even though it's a lightweight um, crepe material that it's made out of, it still actually is heavy because of the length of the dress. So to make sure that it still had structure in the shoulder area, I went ahead and put in some shoulder pads. Um, it's also completely and fully lined. That is something that the pattern did not call for at all. Um, with the pattern, I think I would have maybe like faced the bodice part, but I actually completely lined it with a white um, polyester lining so that I didn't have to worry about wearing a slip or anything like that. The V-neck was a little bit lower than I anticipated, so I ended up wearing it with a uh, light pink camisole underneath of it. If I had known that, I would have made sure to make like a white crepe camisole out of the same material that I could have worn underneath of it. But I was down to the crunch hours with this, y'all, because you know I'm a procrastinator. <laughs> but it did end up being a uh, tulip in the front, so it is a high-low dress. It is a little bit higher in the front than it is in the back. Um, so it does have a slight train on it, but when I wear it with heels, it doesn't even touch the whole floor. Um, I just had to be careful like going up an incline or going down because I couldn't step on the back of it and trip myself. And that wouldn't be very cute, now would it? <laughs> um, I did reinforce the zipper tape area by putting a uh, lightweight interfacing on the zipper opening area. However, I messed up on the zipper opening because I just knew that I was going to use an invisible zipper, right? Of course, you want to use an invisible zipper on a very elegant gown. But I ended up having to put the stitches for the zipper on the outside because I attached the lining to the fabric instead of being able to insert the zipper inside of the lining and fabric. So that is definitely something that I would change and go back and fix if I could, but because I was down to mere hours of sleep before the, the assembly started. I didn't have the opportunity to do that. So that is definitely something that I would fix um, next time that I use this pattern. And if it had not been for the lining that I put on here, this project would have gone by like that. But this crepe is very lightweight, see-through, and I just wanted it to have a better grip and weight to it by adding the lining as opposed to wearing it basically single knit fabric and then having to put a slip underneath of it and then the slip would have taken away from the whole look. So yeah, this is a dress that I can definitely wear um, in spring and winter. It's a, it's a little it's a little warm because it's long sleeved and it's lined, but um, yeah, it came out pretty much how I wanted it to. I really would have liked if I hadn't had a bodice that was separate from the skirt, I would have really liked if I could have had like one piece of fabric all the way down. Unfortunately, I could never find a wrap dress pattern that I liked that was like that. Um, I needed these darts in here to bring in the waist area. So yeah, but that's it. Um, it was a big hit with the exception of a couple people who was like, ooh, is that your wedding dress? Where is he at? I didn't, I didn't find that funny. And y'all know I, I find a lot of stuff funny, but I didn't, I didn't find that funny. <laughs> All right, well, this is my um, Julia Roberts uh, Sailor Bell dress. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it, and I am coming to you very soon with some more sewing videos, well, sewing review, pattern review videos. 
um, because convention season is here. So the first convention is actually in two weekends. My convention is in three weeks, and then I have, well, I don't have. There are two more conventions after that here in Dayton. Um, and then I will probably also go with my friend to one in Cleveland. So instead of standing here talking to you, I really need to get to working on my six or seven outfits. Okay, guys. <laughs>